I'd like to give you an ancient greeting of Hatep, and tonight we are starting a series of lectures. Uh, tonight won't be the lecture, I just want to introduce you to the uh, idea that we will be on camera and would like for you to pay attention as we teach uh, the different ancient sciences of uh, Egypt. My name is Aten Ray, and we've been in the community for a number of years now, at least since 2006. And we are a California corporation with a 501c3. We patterned ourselves after the ancient house of Amun-Ra, or Amun-Re, that was located in Egypt thousands of years ago, so we don't see ourselves as a new organization. I've taken on the name Aten Re as a priestly name, and you'll hopefully you'll get used to calling me that instead of the names I was born in, like Herbert Baker or an Islamic name I used to use, Abdul Aziz. I feel uh, Aten Ray puts us closer to our original civilization and culture, and uh, that's what I would prefer to be called by. Uh, what we would like to do is really get busy here in, in uh, North America. We call ourselves the House of Amun Ray in North America. We hope there'll be different expressions of, uh, of our group in different parts of the world. Right now we're in contact with brothers in uh, Ethiopia, brothers and sisters, who's expressed an interest in opening a temple. And we will, of course, want to open temples all throughout America so that we have a comedic society, much like the Muslims have a society or the um, American society, you know, which is uh, based off of the European culture for the most part, or a mixture of cultures if you, you want to believe that. But uh, our culture, definitely we want to be based off the ancient comedic teachings, and we want to use as our yardstick uh, the teachings uh, that's in, involved in Ma'at. Ma'at, we believe, being the divine order of things, that was brought origi originally <clears throat> to the uh, people of the earth. Now we're descendants of those original people in that place they call Africa today. I don't like to use that word. Uh, wish we can eventually agree to a word to call that continent. But uh, beside the point, that's the place where human beings came from and uh, spread throughout the whole world to, to today we have all the different human families throughout the, uh, throughout the world. So this teaching is for all of us, not just one segment, but for the whole world. And we hope that uh, as this teaching embeds itself again or, or becomes rooted again in the hearts and minds of the people, then many of the problems that we see today will start to be uh, solved. So like, what are we really about then? First of all and foremost, we're about developing the human being to the highest point that the human being can develop to. What is that you say, you know, uh, we thought Islam could do it or Christianity could do it. Or we thought we could think our way into it. Well, for the most part, most of these, these uh, institutions can't help, but it's just like anything else. If you take away from the original or go away from the original, then you're getting something that's diluted. We want to get the pure truth. We want to get the pure teachings that were laid down thousands of years ago, carved in rock, so that we later on could reattach ourselves to it. So this is what we in the House of Amun Ra will attempt to do. We want to establish the priesthood again and priestesshood because man and woman are equal under this system. The only thing that makes us unequal is our functions. So we think men should function as men and women should function as women. We don't believe in cross-dressing or cross-cultural, uh, uh, well, cross-anything. We don't want to cross our natures. This is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we all have a function and a reason for being. So in this, this is what we really want to put most of our time into. Uh, how will we do that? 
Well, we do believe in praying, but we don't believe we can pray our way into it. And we do believe in being wealthy or, or enjoying some of the wealth of the earth, but we don't believe you can pay your way into it. But we do believe that the mind is a powerful thing. And this is what separates us in our degrees of higher functioning is our mind power. So with, with, um, with this in mind, what we want to do is teach the sciences that ancient Egypt taught to strengthen the mind. One of the main ways they did this was through uh, meditation. Prayer is for asking your, your concept of a creator, you're going to ask them for something because you don't have it or you want more of it. But in meditation you have to go deep into yourself and find out really what is the secret of, of creation of which you're a part of. Not separate from, not higher than, but a part of. So this meditation system has been well studied by different scholars. There's uh, one particular system called the Glorious Light Meditation System. And I think that's a good place for us to start, um, especially here in this city of Los Angeles. There's a brother, uh, Dr. Ashby, who's uh, been able to establish himself in Miami. And there are a group of brothers in Atlanta. And they practice the system, uh, have been practicing it for about 20, 30 years. So we don't want to reinvent the wheel. I haven't studied that system for 30 years, but I'd like to take a part of and uh, take a benefit of his study. And this is what we should do with each other. We should respect each other's uh, expertise. Don't try to be everything, but be the best you can be. And then you contribute what you will contribute. So we'll offer that meditation and how to do it. And hopefully we'll get some um, experts, expert meditation people that will be able to teach the rest of society what the benefit of it would be. Also, if you want to pray, we do want to establish a prayer service. Many of you that are familiar with Islam has a, a prayer service on Friday. And the Christians have a prayer service on Sunday. So we'll probably have a prayer service somewhere on the weekend, just like the others do. But it will give you a, an introduction into the postures and the thinking of ancient Egypt. And uh, well, hopefully it'll be accepted. We already have the prayer form in place. Uh, we have a few brothers and sisters that can already teach it. So we encourage you to, to uh, take a part of it. When we have these, prayer, uh, these public prayer services, come on out and see uh, what it can offer. And of course, like I say, the meditation service will be just an added um, positive to this whole system. Um, I'm not the only person in this city that's even uh, tried to give you what this House of Amara can offer. And so we do ask you to come in, bring your children. Uh, we intend to have a school. We intend to uh, have farmland that we can feed ourselves and people can get into the natural way of living. We intend to uh, encourage you for business because we have to have an economy. And we, we do encourage you to be loyal to where you are. Now we're here in America, so we're not anti-American. We are Americans above all other things. And uh, if you're in China, you have to adhere to China, the Chinese law. Or if you're in Ethiopia, you have to adhere to the Ethiopian law. We don't um, advocate being anti-government. Uh, we have to exist in this world as a spiritual entity. And to do that, we have to have peace with our home places that we live in. So we uh, intend to see this glorious house of Amun Ra raise up again. It once uh, taught people throughout the world, and we intend to, to do that again. It has to be the top-rated place to come and study, uh, to, to uh, also be the top-rated place where you see people come out of it practicing what they study. You can't just be hypocritical saying one thing and doing another. There is a way to purify your life. I 
Again, like I say, most people today may have the will to do it, but they don't have the knowledge on how to do it. So we have to impart the knowledge. Um, I've had many years myself, I'm 63 now, so it's taken me a long time to get to this point. Uh, we make mistakes. Uh, we have, some of us have terrible passes, uh, past lives, I should say, but don't worry about that. Uh, you're, you're moving along in a natural way, the way you're supposed to. Uh, we call that the way of a SAR. In other words, you have to learn through experiences, and over a period of time, uh, you reach the states that you would like for yourself. Now you might ask, uh, why are we doing this now? Well, we're almost at 2012 in the Christian calendar. Uh, not that that makes us uh, think that that's so important that we shouldn't do it at any other time. But we're, we're living in a unique period of history. Uh, every 26,000 years, the, the whole uh, experience that we're in on this earth aligns itself with the rest of the universe. And this is what's happening. And you already see and have seen the earthquakes and the tsunamis and, and the uh, unrest, the agitation, the uh, Arab Spring, the people that's going on now in, in the New York takeovers of uh, uh, Wall Street and, and other locations across the country. Well, it's no accident. This is a very uh, agitated time. And that's because of the huge influence that we're also under as, as all these planets align, as, uh, as your energy fields align. And many people don't know why they act the way they act, but uh, we want to be able to explain it to them. And we also want to be able to come together, discuss it, so that we can uh, uh, have an intelligent way to talk about what's going on around us. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, 2012 is, is uh, again, like I say, a Christian number. This is 26,000 for another new cycle. Uh, some people call it the age of Aquarius. Whatever you want to call it, the reality is that there are huge, huge changes taking on and coming about in the world and e even in our own selves. Don't be, uh, don't be so quick to think that the uh, buildings are going to fall on top of you and the ground's going to split open and there's just no hope. This has happened over and over and over again. And we as an old people should connect to our old uh, collective memory and know that this is just natural. It's part of nature. So this is the other point. You must return back to nature. Stop believing in false man-made religions and ways that just cause uh, confusion and division and uh, you know let us kind of help lead the way into this, this new era it, it, new to us but it's not so new it's happened over and over and over so let's uh, let's study it together and let's write it together get through it together so that when uh, the age just does change to the first day of the new change, which is coming quick, that we are living in that time, that we're not living in a past time, or we're not living in a delusion, or we're not living uh, in a make-believe Hollywood type of world. Uh, we must establish ourselves soundly, root ourselves in nature, root ourselves in what is uh, real, and get away from that which causes chaos, 